Hello everyone, this is Mugundan Raghavan and in this video, we will try to understand how to implement the rack with Autogen. As part of this implementation, we need to use the Retrieval User Proxy Agent, which will be mainly focusing on the retrieval step. And another assistant, Retrieval Augmented Assistant, which is our normal LLM assistant. The first step from the Retrieval User Proxy Agent is sending the question and its context. Here context, I mean the set of files and the information about the question. Once the LLM assistant gets this question and its context, based on the context, it will try to answer that. Either you will get the satisfied answer or if the LLM model is not able to find the relevant context or documents, it will tell update context. Again, you can get the satisfied answer and terminate the feedbacks or you can update the context in case if you get the replay from the LLM model as update context. Again, after updating the context, again, you can send it to the LLM model. Again, you will get the satisfied answers. Once you get the satisfied answers, you can terminate that. Basically, to the LLM model, this retrieve user proxy agent will give the proper question and its relevant documents. How this retrieve user proxy agent has all the context or documents. So that's where we have discussed about the retrieval step in the previous video. This retrieval module will also include the vector database and also the embedding model. Embedding model is nothing but whenever you pass some documents, these documents will be converted into the embeddings by the embedding model and then it will be pushed inside the vector database. And whenever some query comes, that query also converted into the vector query and this query will be given to the vector database. So again, you will be getting the vector output. This vector output again can be converted into the normal text by using the embedding model. So basically embedding model can convert text into the embedding and embedding into the text. So by using this all configuration, our retrieve user proxy agent will be handling this kind of retrieval steps. Now coming to the coding point, in order to implement the same rag in our code, we need to install the optional module called retrieve chat. It can be easily done by using this command. After doing this, let's try to understand how it goes. For your information, I have already implemented or already just installed the retrieve chart optional module. Now we will go to our coding. Let's go to the main method. And here you can see config list. This is the same setup like previous video. We will be getting the LLM config of the Llama by using this method. It will be having the model name, API key and so on. And second one, assistant agent. By using this config, we are creating the simple assistant by using the same LLM module. Now this agent will be the simple assistant where we will help the output. Now the main one, rack proxy agent. So this will be responsible for creating our retrieve user proxy agent, which we discussed in the flow. Name is rack proxy agent and the main part is retrieve config. So this is the core of the rack. So in this first one, we are giving the task as QA. We can give QA or code or general. For this demo, we will be using the QA and the docs path. This is where you will give all the relevant documents. For our simplicity, we are using the text file, which contains a simple story about the golden phone. You can read this story. It is a very simple one. But just to understand the rack, we are using this simple file. Now coming to the next method or next parameter, get or create. Since we have discussed the retrieval step also concludes, we need to have the vector database configuration and embedding model. Besides that, we are using the Autogen framework. By default, you will be given with vector DB and the some default embedding model. All mini LM L6 V2 sentence transformation embedding function. So by using this embedding model and vector database, we can directly start coding or otherwise you are still open to configure your own vector database and embedding model. Since it's a prototyping, we are going to use the default vector database and its embedding model. For the first time, we don't have any vector database created here. You can see there will not be any vector databases created. So the reason 
we are mentioning get or create has false. That means that we want to create from the scratch. Now, after creating this method, create rack proxy agent, which will be responsible to retrieve or to give the instance of the retrieve user proxy agent with this all configuration. Now, second one is start conversation. So start conversation, we are giving the simple LLM assistant and the rag assistant. Assistant.reset, which means it will clear up any kind of previous conversation or cache so that the conversation starts from the scratch. Then the rag agent start the chat to the assistant, normal assistant with the message generator. This message is giving some standard format when you interact between the rag and the normal assistant. We don't need to worry about this one. It will be default from the Autogen framework. And the question that we are giving is, who is Lily? So here you can see story.txt has the character called Lily. So that's the same question Drag is asking to the normal assistant, also providing with the context. And now we are starting the conversation with these two agents, assistant agent and the rag agent. Now let's go to the terminal and try to execute. Here you can see, as soon as we start executing from the scratch, it created the folder called TMB temp. In this, you can see the database details and the Chrome DB and its embeddings. Now, if you see the output very carefully, since it's the first time it is trying to create a collection, in case of vector database, the entries will be under the collection. So that's why it's creating the collection. And since we did not provide any embedding model as a normal configuration, it takes the default embedding model. And with this, it is giving the question to the normal assistants. Since we have mentioned the message as rag proxy agent dot message generator, so it will follow some default standard. It is following this standard and giving the output as you are retrieve augmented chatbot, you are answer user questions based on the own knowledge context provided by the user. And all the information, it will replay update context in case if the LLM could not answer from the context. The question is, user's question is, who is Lily? And context is the entire file content. Even though you see the same content as a text format here, basically the Chrome DB will be having the embeddings. After giving this entire context, the assistant has got all the information, means context as well as the query. It is trying to give the answer, Lily is the girl who found the golden phone. Now again, you can continue or you can just terminate the conversation. For example, here, what is golden phone? A phone that makes wishes come true. Yes, as part of that story, it is the same. So like this, you can continue or you can terminate by typing the exit. Sorry. You need to go to the terminal and type exit and enter. Now we have completed our basic flow. And also here you can see the collection has been created under the TMB DB folder. When you execute the next time, again, you don't want to create from the scratch. You can mention true in case if you want to use the existing collections. So that based on the collection, you can keep on asking the questions and getting the answers. Now the main question arises. If you go to the chat GPT or any kind of tool like Copilot or let's say any kind of Gemini tool, you can directly upload the documents and ask the questions. So in that case, why do we need to do all these things from the scratch using this coding? The main answer is you can use the online AI services. However, your data is not private. And also you don't have any control where your data is stored, how it is indexed, how it is retrieved, everything. If you want to make your data as a private, then you need to use this kind of a configuration or the custom solution. And also, if you go for the multi-agent collaboration, you cannot use the simple tools like HRGPT or Copilot or Gemini. You need to use this kind of a vector database and you need to maintain the file structures and the inputs for the, the entire communication cycle. So in simple words, if your requirement is just to summarize the document only once, you can upload to the chart GPT and use it fine. But if you are looking for the long-term AI solutions, then obviously you need to set up this custom solution by configuring this vector database retrieval module and the multi-agent network. So that's the reason in this video, we have seen how to implement the rack from the scratch by using the retrieve user proxy agent 
and also we have used the autogen framework so that we don't need to install or configure anything from the scratch for the vector database and embedding model as i told earlier still you can configure your own vector database and embedding model if you want so this is all about this video and always be a rainbow in others cloud